guys it's kim and welcome back to my channel in case you can't tell by the bags here i'm going to do a grocery haul for you for the week so i just thought i would go through everything that we have to get us through the next week and um, share how much it all cost so this is a week's worth and this food bill was 130 dollars and 15 cents but they did miss out a few items so we didn't get the chicken breasts, the, I think some cordial and some Pepsi Max. So originally the order was about, it was about 160, but when they substituted or removed the items, it was the $30 less. Right, so let's get started and go through this. Stables roast turkey because we are going to be going to see my grandma later on in the week and we're going to um, pre-cook some stuff and just go hunt down and have a nice lunch with her. Oh, two roast turkeys, one kilo. I ordered a two kilo one, but obviously they were out of those, so they gave me two and one kilo ones. Some frozen broccoli and cauliflower. White potatoes. Some ham. Burrito kit. Um, 501 birthday cake bars these are really really yummy and they're only 90 calories per serve so they're a good little snack so I've got a few different flavors of these so I got the um, chocolate brownie ones chocolate fudge brownie and two of the lemon drizzle I also got some vanilla soy milk salad kit to have on the side with our schnitzels one night. Zucchinis. Iceberg lettuce, which these are really expensive at the moment. I think I paid like $4.99 just for this lettuce and they're normally like $1.99. Brown onions. Some Roma tomatoes. Um, some chicken schnitzels, these are the herb and garlic crumbed ones. There's four in that pack. And we have the herb and garlic crumbed beef schnitzels as well. So they're really nice. A loaf of wholemeal bread. Enchilada kit. So, like I mentioned, we are missing a couple of things. So, I did order some cordial as well as the chicken breasts to go with the enchiladas and burritos, but I'll just have to pick some of that up from the supermarket later. Um, and yeah, oh, and I also got a 10 kilo box of Matt Lofty water. Um, I am that weird person that won't drink water from a tap, so I always end up buying um, 10 kilo boxes of water. Just, I don't know, tastes better. I'm weird. I can't even explain it. Um, so this on this week's menu, I think I normally buy enough meals for five days. So we plan on having sh chicken schnitzels two nights this week, beef schnitzels one night, and then the burrito and enchiladas the other nights. So, I don't know, sometimes we will eat out a couple of times a week, um, but I try and buy things that will either freeze well or like can 
I can cook them and then freeze them or use them later in the week. And then we've got the turkeys there for when we go down to see my grandma later in the week as well. So yeah, that'll be really nice to do. Um, probably have to pick up a few more bits and pieces later in the week for that because I'm going to make a potato salad and a pasta salad as well. So even though this was $130, I will probably end up spending another 60 or so. Yeah, about $60 extra for this week for food shopping in total. So what, 190 ish a week. I try and only do about 150 a week if I can make that work. But sometimes when things come up, like the turkeys, obviously two of those, I think, or one of them originally, I think it was like $30 or something. So definitely not cheap. But yeah, so I don't know whether this sort of thing interests you or not, but I always find it super interesting to see what people actually get for their money and what their meal plan for the week is. I used to be a shop per day kind of person. So I would go to the supermarket four or five times a week and I would spend between, you know, 60 to $80 every single time I went. And I would never look in my pantry before I went food shopping. And then I went up with like, six bags of onions that I was never going to use or you know buying that extra gravy or you know not remembering what herbs and spices I had in the cupboard so restocking and then just aimlessly walking around the supermarket and end up buying more stuff than what I needed and then somehow I would randomly find myself down the sweets aisle <laughs> so um, doing the Coles online ordering has been really really good for me to force myself to plan because I'm saving money and then I do less trips to the supermarket, which means that at the end of the day, I don't end up spending anywhere near as much as what I would if I was going to the shops every day. And also with, you know, the whole COVID thing and everything, it's nice to not have to just wander around supermarkets if I don't have to. Yeah, so if this is a video that you guys enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that like uh, sorry, the subscribe button down the bottom there so you get notified every time that I post a video and you can stay up to date with what, what, what's going on and <laughs> what the latest thing that I've posted is. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!